Hello. In this message, I wanted to discuss um, the idea of us searching for and looking for love, uh, and basically the the definitions that we place on ourselves, our partners, and kind of the the world around us of what it means to to be in love, to feel loved back. And, um, and then also uh, the reciprocity um, that then we feel like um, that, that causes love to either, you know, strengthen or fall apart. Um, and, and then kind of like the set of definitions that exist around that. And so um, to begin with, I wanted to highlight the idea or the understanding is that most of the time we have come to know love and uh, and and define love um, as an external search of ourselves within our our significant other, uh, or you know, or within or within our parents, or within our siblings, or our group of friends. And so, regardless of what type of love that you want to discuss, you know, I will I will call it all as one love. But we have defined love as validation of our being. Uh, through the eyes of someone else. Um, and so because of that, uh, love as a concept has become very complicated. Um, anytime we we um, find lack of love within our own being, unbeknownst to ourselves, right? We subconsciously don't realize that that is what is happening. And we search for love um, in the outside sources. We automatically set out a set of definitions of in order for me to feel love i need to get x feel x um you know have have my time be spent with me have the following gifts um have somebody go out of their way to love me uh have them say just the right things to love me have them care for me enough in order for me to feel loved and so everything gets externalized um, and really from our childhood is because we are, you know, we're, we're taught by our parents through the way of our upbringing that, that love is being given to us, right? So we never, we never come in into this understanding that we are love, we are complete beings as love, because our initial experience with love is receivership of that love from our family members, our parents, our siblings, our grandparents. And so because of that understanding, further and further, we kind of solidify into this idea that, oh, love dot, dot, dot equates to outside source. And so then at some point we go, oh, in order for me to feel fulfilled in my marriage, I have to find a spouse that loves me dot 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 specific way uh and then two then they will offer that to me their love to me and then i will offer their love to them but both of those entities are very externalized right so they have this definition of what is love is to them and they impose that onto you and you have definition of what love is to you and you impose that onto them and so we go on living i mean literally i I have not never known anyone who does not live under those circumstances, who does not live under circumstances that these externalized sets of uh, criteria that I have within myself that these other human beings might or might not know about is in fact what I will reflect as validity of love and then I will internalize and then deem you worthy uh, of my love to give forth to you. And then the second that person does not validate those set of criteria that you have within yourself that you don't even know that you have that needs to be validated in order for you to feel loved, you feel gypped, um, you feel hurt, right? You feel unloved. And then therefore you start you within yourself to alter the love that you give back where you think you need to give back because now it becomes some sort of quid pro quo. And, you know, that is an extreme case scenario of, you know, extreme immaturity. Uh, <laughs> but but that is a scenario uh, in, you know, in, in most marriages. So a scenario in, in, in my marriage, right? It's, it's, it's some sort of internal game that you don't even realize that you're playing uh, that sooner or later really revolves to, you know, leads to complete disaster 
Um, and then in most cases, dissolution of marriage, right? Uh, unless, and, and this is the part that I want you to address, unless you start to go within and start to realize and see what is that that you have been deemed uh, within yourself as love. What, what is that that you have classified love to be as? What is the, your true definition behind love? Not, not the, the, the flowers, not the gifts, not the cooked dinners and, you, you know, sex tickets, you know, whatever those are. Um, look within and, and see what is it that I have deemed myself to, to be love. And, and the, quite literally, most of the time, you will have some sort of definition that you can put down. Um, it is quite sad, right? Because if you think back, um, as a child, you never thought there would be a definition. But through just our bringing and our trauma and pain, we basically um, have married ourselves into a definition of love. And so you can start looking into your definition and seeing why do I require someone to do X in order for me to feel loved, right? Why do I require for them to acknowledge me doing something in order then for me to be validated in a love that I give in order to then give, you know, receive the love back within the validation from them. And so then you you start to see your relationship as these quid pro quo uh, backs and forth that really were, were never meant to be that way. They were never meant to function as our definition of love, uh, but in fact, they have become. Um, and, you know, hence the, the divorce rates and hence the, the dissatisfied marriages that go on and gone and gone for years. Um, and so... How to unravel? How do you unravel that? How do you look past that? And you know, I say simple, um, not simple, but it, it actually is simple if you start to look at it. Unravel your definition of love. Start to love yourself from the core of your being and establish that solid connection with yourself as a human being that loves and offers love. Not because of some definition, not because of some validation, not because of something that you're trying to seek out in order to validate back to you so then you feel good inside, because love is at the essence of your core. And so that is a different type of love that I'm talking about. That is a different type of love that I'm referencing here. The love where you are not looking for validation of self through someone else's eyes. The love where you're not looking for validation of self through some relationship, through some action, through some um, extracurricular activity that you're participating in. And, and then realize, if I do go out of my way to, to look for this love here and there and there and there, what is it that is inside of me that is preventing me from feeling love inside myself as is today in this moment? What as, as me as I'm sitting here right now today, what is it within me today that is causing me not to love myself as is, right? Is it, a, I don't know, is that a, a missing necklace? Is that a, is that a fancy dinner out? Is it, is it, you know, cuddle time on the couch? What, what is it right now that I'm searching for externally that is causing me not to feel love inside? It's a hard question to ask. It is a hard question to, to, to admit to yourself that you have outsourced love, you have outsourced uh, the fact that you don't love yourself and you laid it on to the people around you and have blamed them for, for you not being happy in your life. Uh, when, you know, all in truth, I'm speaking from experience here, um, all along the way, you have basically made subconscious little decisions along the self of why you're not going to love yourself, dot, 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 because of this, because of this, because of that. And so because of all these little definitions, we want, oh, well, since I can't offer this to myself, I'll just seek it out into the world, right? I'll just start throwing the fishing nets out there and see who 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 catches who I can catch in order to offer me that specific uh, frame of awareness or that specific feeling, and so we're just out there looking and searching for something that we have, um, you know, not um, giving up ourselves uh, for our own sake. 
And so that that is the key. That is the key to really any relationship or solving any relationship or solving any marital problems or or solving, uh, I mean, honestly, all world problems <laughs> is that what is that that we are searching for from the outside that we're refusing to just look in within. Uh, and so going within kind of the message is being reinforced, right? But it can be reinforced into all kinds of points of our life and love is just being one of them. Why do we go to the outside in order to seek validation, in order to seek love? And why is it that we cannot or are unable to find that within? And then, you know, the the, the truth of it will be is da 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 deep down the road at some point you deemed yourself unlovable or you deemed yourself unworthy or or excuse me whatever the particular icing on the cake might be um but, but it just comes down to self-love now when i say self-love i do not mean to um you know indulging yourself in in outside validations for some other reason I'm like oh you know what i don't need anybody else to love but i'm gonna go love myself and i'm gonna treat myself to a spa treatment that is still an outside validation of love uh now instead of an entity it you know it is a service provider so that is not the love that i'm talking about the love of self just sits on within right w without any action without any evaluations without any judgments you sit within and you start to love yourself you go if this is my hand, what's wrong with my hand? Why why do I not love my hand to the fullest extent? What is it is it because it's wrinkly? Is it because that my nails are too short? Or is it because of the scar? Or and so one by one, section by section, start to analyze what is it that that causes you not to love your being, not to love your insides, not to love your sense of humor, not to love your um, the way you walk, the way you dance, not to love the way you speak. And so through these little micro evaluations, as silly as it is, evaluating your hand, evaluating how you feel about your body movement, evaluating how you feel about your speech, you will, it's all these things will start to come up. And, and, the, and within these things, you'll start to notice these buried, um, buried traumas, buried pains that caused you to shut yourself off from love, right? Oh, well, no, I, I, I can't move because I'm clumsy, right? And then so, and so your entire life, right? You're, you're searching for that validation to undo, undo that feeling that you have set up within yourself of clumsiness. I know it's a very uh, silly example, but you know, it's as simple as that. Is that you, your validation will always be there trying to validate something within yourself that you have shot off and then therefore that external love that you're seeking is trying to prove something to yourself that you want to feel but in fact you don't feel um unbeknownst to self right you don't want to admit to yourself that you want to feel this but you don't, right? So you're walking around not pretending like that's not the case, but at the same time, you're completely outsourcing this into the outside world. So you don't, you want to feel it, you don't. You don't want to admit to yourself that you want to feel it for your own sake. Therefore, you're going into the outside world and you're trying to find this in your lover and you're trying to find this in your friendships and you're trying to find this in your community or whatever self of validation you're choosing, you know, to participate in. Uh, that the love becomes convoluted in that. And so through these micro evaluations, these micro um, lookings at yourself of like, well, how do I feel about me doing this? And why does it that I don't love me doing that, right? And then it, it say, you know, let, let's say it comes down to to cooking, right? Um, oh, I I don't cook, you know. I I'm, I I want to I want a gourmet meal every time, and then I I don't cook. Well, why is it that you don't love the action of yourself cooking, right? And then so you can start looking, you can start unraveling. Well, cooking makes me feel like I'm not good at it, right? Well, when you're not good at it, well, then what does it do? Oh, it just makes me feel lesser than, right? And so right there. Right there in those little micro actions of self, micro actions of your body, micro actions of speaking, moving, doing, you can start go. Oh, I'm I'm making myself lesser than. I have built this subconscious definition of self that that is now running some sort of validation 
or, or own validation within my body and now I'm externally looking for the opposite that are off or the same or different or you know just trying to put different um different icing on a different cupcake so uh so that's the key is love will not work <laughs> and it never works uh if it is from the outside validation based on some secret definition that you unbeknownst to self have written down in your brain uh, and now trying to find the facilitation of that in the outside world right that love is very finite um it will not last uh, ever or if it does uh, it would be very painful and um, um rigid and quid pro quo type of love and so the love that you will find um, that lasts is the love that you will feel inside for yourself and then finding the partner um, that feels that love inside themselves right or at least is in the process of understanding that that they cannot seek from you validation of their being because because they don't have that within themselves right so it has to it has to come from this amicable understanding on both of your behalves um and then, and then from that, you can build a relationship, right? From that, you can look at your partner and you can love him for who he is or who she is, uh, regardless of what they do or do not do to validate you as a human being, right? It does not become personal. That that personal vendetta, that personal agenda just completely leaves that space. And then the actual true love can flourish, right? The love is just appreciation of them being the way they are. And then love of you being the way that you are. And then and then sharing that space together, right? Sharing the children together within this beautiful awareness. Uh, sharing the household together with this beautiful awareness. Uh, you know, sharing intimacy together from this beautiful awareness that I am a whole being. I'm magnificent. I'm beautiful. Uh, and I don't need you to validate me. And they don't need you to validate you or to validate themselves. And so within that dance you you can build the most beautiful love uh with anyone with anything right the objects people friends family members just understanding of your own validity and your own sovereign self uh and then at the same time allowing them to find their own sovereignty within and then not being in the chase not being in the uh, in the rigmarole role of some unspoken set of rules or definitions um, that will cause you to chase something that is not love, um, you know, it's just a pain body. It's just a trauma. It's just a um, lack of self-validation, lack of self-love that you have then defined as love and then seeking the outside world. So uh, I hope that's helpful and um, happy searching and happy looking within. <laughs>